Hello and welcome to the P-Security channel. We know that GData and Kaspersky released their new versions uh, really early in the year and we already have GData 2014 geared up and ready. So let's take a look at this version. The installer is no smaller than the last version. It's still huge. 374 megabytes. That's a humongous size for a security product. Now if we open up the user interface we can see that it has been totally renovated and I really like it. The way it displays all the protection components here and uh, all the major things are now spread out and they've got different tabs on the top. I really like this layout. It's a huge improvement over their clumsy user interface that they used to have. In 2013, 12, and many other years, I guess. Now, this version is, as you can see, this is 2014.24.0.11.1.1. So, this is the final version. It's not a beta, but it's not being released officially. So, you'll have to wait a couple of days to get your hands on it. Now, We've got our virus protection. You can do your scans from here. That's nice. We've got firewall, all the major things. Then they've got parental controls. And uh, this is a new feature, auto start manager. So if you've got different startup applications, you can start them without or with delay, depending on what kind of computer you have. And uh, that's basically it about the main user interface. Now let's take a look at the settings for a second. Now if we go in general they still have the security to performance ratio and uh, you can change everything. You can decide which engine it's going to use and uh, how it's going to scan. So I'll leave it at standard. And in antivirus we have real-time protection. Both engines are going to be used. and. Uh, as we all know, I mean, GData is a dual engine AV, so it uses two engines, engine A and engine B. Now, they have a behavior monitor. This is the version, uh, this is the thing that has been, you know, a problem with it in the last versions. So let's see how it comes out this time. It's enabled. Again, I would really like to see some more expansions here. Maybe a standard high security you know, feature, because right now it's just enabled or disabled. It doesn't really give you much control. In web protection, we have phishing protection, scan web content, bank guard browser protection. This is also something new. And we've got anti-spam and firewall. You can see it's set to standard security. Maybe something like this for behavior blocker would be nice. But anyway, I'll hit cancel. So we'll keep it at stock settings. Let's take a look at their press release. It says they've got fast effective protection and uh, now they've introduced a new engine called GData Close Gap. Uh, what they've done is they've basically uh, replaced the Avast engine with their own engine that's now called GData Close Gap. So they're, they'll be using Bitdefender and uh, their own engine, so they're no longer going to use Avast. And the reason they've done that is more or less mostly for performance improvements. So we'll see how fast this version is. Now this is more or less a, a zero-day heuristic engine, so it'll be nice to see how it performs. And if you go in here, you can see all the new features. They have integrated GData Close Gap, and they've integrated Auto Start Manager, new user interface, improved Bank Guard, better behavior recognition. We'll see how better it is. Less demanding of resources. That's nice. And integrated device control protection against dangerous USB devices and DVDs. So that's basically it. You can read this full article if you want, but I'll just skip. And uh, let's take a look at their memory usage. I know GData has been quite heavy in the past, probably due to the extra engine. 
that it uses. Now let's see if they fix that in this version. The behavioral analysis proxy actually uses uh, quite a bit of RAM, about 16 megabytes. I've seen this down at about 11 or 12, but not lower than that. Now the antivirus scan server, it uh, goes down to about maybe 1 or 2 megs sometimes, but it spikes up the moment you start doing anything, so that's probably going to stay at about 13 to 14 megabytes. So we're looking at like what? 40 megabytes? of RAM usage, which is not bad at all for a uh, twin engine AV. Yeah, so about 40 to 45 megabytes, which is, you know, it's fine, but again, not dinosaur proof. So we've got some guests here, some zero day malware. Let's see how GData can handle them. First one is a pretty big link. Let's see if gdata can block it so it'll be quite interesting to see how this new version affects their detection rate because gdata have been known for their really good detection rates and now that they do not have the vast engine anymore uh, we'll, it'll be interesting to see how it, that affects the detection rate so first one got cut by the web filter that's nice. This one seems to be dead. So we'll try the next one. So while this one's loading, let's load the next one. This one got blocked by the web filter. Now the last one is not listed, blacklisted, so we'll have to download it to see if GDA can block it. This one got cut by the web filter. Let's try run this one. No response from GData and uh, file has successfully loaded. and whoa no in fact this was this link that I tried so it wasn't the last one, the last one's still working fine so this guy got caught and uh, it didn't quite block the web page and Internet Explorer is not responding so it's asking me to disinfect, I'll delete the infected file So it shouldn't work. Let's try running this one. And this one is kind of like taking over my screen. Anyway, I was able to close that out. This is actually some kind of adware, I presume. Let's try out this one. This is a rootkit, I suppose.
this was not caught by the web filtering. Hmm, so this thing did actually load up. Uh, that's interesting. So we'll see if it actually infected the system. Let's try the next one. This one's again caught by their web filtering service. Not quite sure of what this one did. Okay, so it was trying to download some kind of malware and it got caught and blocked. So that's nice. So this one got blocked by their web filter. Let's try this one. So it's checking the download. So I guess I'll wait for it and I'll be back when this is done. So the last link got caught, as you can see. So let's see what's active in memory. We've got all this stuff that's some kind of Chinese adware, I suppose and we've got another silent install application running and you can see this ad where it's starting to get annoying especially because I don't know which buttons to press now it's interesting to see what that calc.exe did not sure we'll find out so at the moment uh, I will you can see some icons have been made on my desktop. I don't like that. So I will do a scan with Hitman Pro and be back with the results. Hitman Pro doesn't seem to have found anything uh, really major. It did not find any of this adware, so it might be legitimate. We'll find out towards the end of the video. But um, it's found this thing that's suspicious, but this is uh, in local temp, so it might be a part of the malware that GData blocked, and this is something that is missing. So again, typically malware that has been removed by GData probably. So I've got some malware here, there are 502 items. So I will do a right click scan with GData and we'll see what kind of detection rate it manages. So I will pause and I'll be back when it has completed removing all the malware. As you can see, uh, GData found uh, 501 items and I have deleted everything. So no disinfections. Let's see what we're left with. Just three items, so that's really good. So that's a detection rate of 99.4%, one of the highest uh, I've ever seen. So that's really nice. So let's try run these three files after re-enabling the guards and see if GData can prevent them from infecting the system with its behavior blocker.
the system's not responding at the moment. So you can see everything's enabled here. So let's try running this. This one, in fact, has probably been like removed. I don't know how it ended up with zero kilobytes. Maybe it's dependent on something else. I don't know. Let's take a look at the task manager. So something wants administrator privileges. You can see this process is running. And this adware has downloaded tons of other crap. So we've got registry key changes happening, files being copied to system 32, all the things that you don't want, and behavior blockers just sleeping. That's not good. You should have got some kind of response from GData's behavior blocker here. It's getting quite interesting. So what I'll do, I'll reboot and do a scan with Malwarebytes first this time, and I will be back with the results. Looks like Malwarebytes uh, has found a ton of stuff here. We've got 187 infections. Now, first one, desktop setup. This one is Trojan Q host. Um, this is the file that I downloaded from the internet. Then we've got this potentially unwanted program, Funshion. I guess this is part of that adware. I mean, it's really annoying, I have to say. So, I don't know. So we've got tons of files here. You can just see the number of files that we've got on this. And it, it was really hard to scan with the continuous pop-ups from this potentially unwanted program but anyway so it doesn't look like it's uh, that as much of stuff as I thought at first it's just all of this potentially unwanted programs and Trojan Q host so apart from that nothing much so we'll select everything and we will remove it And uh, I will not reboot. And now I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro, and I'll be back with the results. So I did a Hitman Pro scan with the EWS, and it's still doing fine. Anything else? So and Norton Power Razor as well. I, tr I threw it in there and uh, did a scan, but nothing. So it looks like GData actually did quite well. The signature detection was really nice, and uh, it did successfully prevent uh, almost everything apart from that major PUP disaster. So, I mean, that was uh, just a PUP. <sighs> really annoying one, though. But anyway. So it's pretty good, but I still don't like that the fact that they don't really give you some really nice zero day component here. I mean, they've got their heuristics and stuff, but I just feel that behavior monitor should be something that should come into play more often. I mean, I'm not, I did not see a single alert, and uh, 
Fortunately for GData, in this test, I just missed uh, one item that I had to run, so it wasn't really much of a test of the behavior blocker. And uh, most of the cases in which I saw the antivirus not catching the threat, I've never seen this pop up, so... I just hope that they work on this behavior shield. I mean, their antivirus has been great for a long, long time. I have no complaints about that. So yeah, pretty decent security solution to consider in case you want to use uh, Twin Engine AV. At the moment, I'd still prefer MCSoft over this because MCSoft has even better signatures and even better, much better zero-day component than this. And since they're both like payware, GData does give you a couple of extra features like parental controls and auto start manager, but I mean, security-wise, I'd still prefer some other programs over GData. And it's not that light as well. I mean, the system hung up on several occasions, and uh, it does slow down the computer a little bit when you're running it in the system. So, yeah, have that's the end of the review. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day, and I'm hoping to see even better products from GData in the future. So... Have a nice day, and I'll talk to you later.